Hi folks, Dick Coughlin here, and uh, I thought I'd do another uh, 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 another instalment. I fucked up the stuff. Hi folks, Dick Coughlin here. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, can't talk at the moment for some reason. And uh, last month I did a video where I sort of decided I'd go back over, sort of like going over old videos that I did many, many years ago that many of you may not have seen, and sort of revisiting them and seeing how things have changed, if anything. So, so that's really it. Now, last week I did Pat Condell, and of course I got loads of requests from people asking about this person and that person, but I thought I'd go a bit less obvious this month, and I thought I'd pick uh, one of my earliest videos that I ever did a response to, um, as a user on YouTube, I, I, I think, I don't know whether he's still on YouTube, he may very well be, uh, he goes by the name of Nick Bravo, he was associated, um, unfortunately, for, you know, for, you know, for all involved with, uh, Happy Cabby, uh, you know, for, for, um, and had a long-standing rivalry of him, but before I'd even heard of Nick Bravo, or was aware of who he was, um, I came across this video, uh, on a channel called Christ Bravo, and uh, and this was the video. Uh, uh, this was the first video I ever saw of him. I wanted to make this clear. If Nick, if Nick, if you're out there, if you come across this video, uh, I want to make this clear. There's no there's no animosity or hatred here. This was 12 years ago. I'm sure both of us have moved on from then. So you don't need to take this personally. Um, this is. I'd like to think you're just as uh, embarrassed by this video as I as I probably am. There is also a second video he uploaded after this one that I never responded to, that I've also made a response to. However, if you want to see that, you're going to have to join my Patreon. And you can do it for as little as $1, and you'll get lots of extra content. But other than that, let's crack on, shall we? Hi. Hi. My name is Bravo de Christos. I'm Dick Coughlin. Coughlin de, Kis de Dickos. The excellent Christ. I'm the awesome dick. But just, just to make it clear, Bravo de Christos does not actually translate as the excellent Christ, so you've added that on. And I don't know about you, but one quality that Christ had in the Bible was humility. And I just think putting the word excellent in your name is a tad, you know, Suggests that you're trying a bit too hard. I would have gone you know, just for plain old... I would have played it down a bit, you know. You may be wondering if I'm the real thing. Nope. You may be wondering what is my purpose here. Uh, nope. These are all good questions. Mm, not really, no. Um, you know, I mean, if someone comes up to me and says they are the excellent Christ, even when Jesus himself did not call himself the excellent Christ, you know, I've got a few more questions beyond, you know, what is your purpose? And My purpose is to teach. Right. Did you not think of becoming a teacher then? Um, and specifically what? I mean, how to become a Christ, I mean, would be, be a good start. My purpose is to uh, reach out to those who are broken, who are wounded. Okay, to teach people, so, you know, to teach people how to fix themselves. You know, reach out to those that are broken. You can do this without being Jesus, you know. You don't have to be Christ. Yeah, I'm sure it helps. And heal them. Okay, you're going to heal them, people who are broken, okay? Is that with miracles? You know, or are you just going to... Put a band-aid on them or phone, phone an ambulance. I mean, I just, you know, this is, I, and you're going to teach them stuff on the way there? You're going to teach basic health and safety. The power of the universe flows through me. The power of the universe flows through, th through, that, that kind of doesn't mean anything really, does it, Nick? Or oh, Christ, Mr. Bravo. I don't know how to call you, really. Um... Uh, Mr. Excellent, yeah. Bill and Ted's excellent Jesus. What, what, did, what does that mean, the power of the universe? That sounds quite painful, really. Thus, I am Christ. So that's, that's all you've got to do to be Christ, is have the power of the universe flow through you. Doesn't seem worth it to me. 
Some of you may already be familiar with my other channel by which I first explored YouTube. You explored YouTube. We well, you didn't you explore. It. You're making it sound a little grandiose there. And you, you know, it's you don't explore. You just go on. You go on YouTube and search, search for stuff. This was in 2008, in all fairness, and there wasn't too much on here. But um, I, I, even back then, I never found anything that sort of made me think. You know, yeah, I could be Jesus. And I'm certain that duplicate channels are allowed because I see a lot of partners with duplicate channels as well as other people with channels who, you know, they have more than one channel. I certainly fucking hope they allow du duplicate channels because otherwise I'm fucked. And to be quite frank, so are you, Nick, because to be honest, I couldn't find any channel. I don't know whether you're on YouTube. I, I found these on a mirror channel, which it seems to be, as is, as is the case with me, most of the channels that exist for your content on are channels that you don't own. <laughs> And uh, and to be fair, you know, if you are if you are Christ, I think you know, I think we can allow him to have another YouTube channel. You know, we can make make the rules there, bend the rules there, can't we? You may be asking, how did you, uh, you know, if if you're Christ, how is it that you're not wearing robes and you know all that other stuff? Well, okay, again, Nick. Okay, if someone comes up to me and claims to be Christ. My first thing isn't to check out their clothes and go, well, what's with it? Uh, hold on. You're not dressed for it, mate. May I, uh, may I add, you know? You're not wearing, you're not, you don't seem to be dressed like some, like, like, he, like Christ used to be. That wouldn't be on, you know, I'm not saying it wouldn't be a question, but it wouldn't be in the top 20. Be a lot of other things like, are you mental? Would be another question. See, if you're confusing me with Jesus the Christ. Okay, hold on. Okay. I've read the Bible. Now, maybe my translation is not, maybe my sort of understanding is it, but as far as I'm aware, he was called, he was called Jesus Christ. He wasn't called Jesus the Christ. You know, like Kermit the Frog. He was just Jesus. It was Jesus Christ. That was, you know, there was no point in the Bible. You know, and that, like I said, Maybe I'm misunderstanding here, but it wasn't Jesus. It wasn't Jesus the Christ, as far as I'm I'm aware. And, and to be fair, Nick, it's a, it's it's you know, say to say we're confused. No one's confused you with Jesus. No one's confusing you. No one's assuming you. That's not what's going through people's head when you tell people you're Christ. Um, two thousand years ago, robes were what they were back then. I'm not going to dress any differently than I usually do. Yeah, fucking right, man. You tell them, you know? You know, right now I'm wearing my Hawaiian shirt and khakis, which is perfectly acceptable. Yeah, yeah, if you missed a January in this year's paedophile styles and fashion. Um, I, I, the one problem I have with believing you're Christ, Nick, is that you're bald. And I can't, you know, there's a few things, you know, I don't, I'm an atheist, obviously, don't believe you know, in, in Jesus is coming back. But if he did, there's a few criteria. One, he can't be bald, right? Can't be short either. I don't want a short Jesus, a short, bald Jesus. I don't know how tall you are, but you know, but, yeah, Hawaiian shirt and khakis, yeah. But whatever, who am I to fucking sit here and uh, and tell, 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 the, tell the, the excellent Christ, you know, out of dress? I mean, I'm wearing a Wham shirt, so I think that means every right in the book. Now, you may be wondering a lot of things. Yeah. You've nailed it. Yep, that is finally. That I cannot answer in a 10 minute video. Okay, um, you can't answer them in a 10 minute video. Okay. That's fine, okay? Obviously, I don't expect you to cover everything. You're announcing that you're Christ. There's going to be a lot of, you know, a lot of cynicism and a lot of people throwing a lot of questions. You can't answer any of them. You can't answer, you know, in a 10-minute video. But this video is only 5 minutes and 27 seconds long. You know? So you could at least... There were four... So there are 4 minutes and 33 seconds left over... 
you could have spent answering some of them. But given how much time you dedicate to the most important question, which is coming up now, I think you could have probably managed a bit more than you do. How I became Christ brother. Yeah, that, that's a good start. Yep. Yeah, this is where we, this is a good start. How, how, how did that happen? Right. Let's get on with that. You know, assuming this is going to be, you know, quite the process. This is a very interesting story. You and I have very different definitions of the word interesting, apparently. When I was younger, I was a Christian and I asked uh, Jesus, I said, make me, I want to be like you. He said, okay, sure. That's it. That's the story. That's not, okay, Nick, that is not interesting, nor does it really answer the question because you said you, uh, you were younger, you were a Christian. Does that mean you, presumably you're a Christian now. You'd have, presumably to be Christ, you'd have to be a Christian at least now, you know. But you just asked Jesus. I mean, first of all, where was Jesus? Was Jesus in the room? Were you took, did you just did you pray to Jesus? Did you was Jesus just there? And and also, does it really sound like the sort of thing G Jesus is normally known for? His, you know, you know, one thing Jesus is known for being you, Jesus, is his, you know, he's he's quite a good orator. You know, his rhetorical. He was very good at the rhetorical devices and such. And I just think, OK, sure, is not really, you know, it, it's not really, it doesn't sound, it, it, it's like, you know, right? You know, I mean, could, that's, that's not, that's not interesting. If anything, that's, that's, that, that's, that's more vague. That makes things even more confusing. So more and more I am becoming Christ. Oh, so... You're becoming Christ, but so, you, so you're not fully... How do you go full Jesus? How do you go full Christ? What does it... How, how does that start? Does that start from the feet up? I mean, does it come in from the... Is it, does it come in from the fingertip? Which, what? None of this makes any sense. And because I am becoming... And I am Christ. Okay, okay. Look, you got to pick one, Nick. You say you, you're becoming... And I am, Okay. One or the other, okay, mate. This is a this is a binary situation. You're either becoming Christ, or you are Christ. You can't say you can't say one. You can't say you know you're becoming and that you are, because if you are, then you've become. If you're becoming, then you're not fully. I don't know why I'm trying to explain logic in this situation, but I thought I'd waste my time. At first. I mean, I've been Christ Bravo for quite some time. Okay, okay, you've been Christ Bravo for some time. Didn't you, didn't you have just, wouldn't you have brought it? Why are you bringing this up now? I don't know about you, but if I've been, if, if I woke up one day and realised I was Christ, I'd be pretty much sort of shouting that for, I'd be making sure people knew. Be like, uh, I, you know, post a tweet, something, you know, a Facebook update. I wouldn't. I wouldn't sit on that one for a few years. You know, I wouldn't keep that one under me hat. But I was afraid of my own power. I was afraid of what other people would do to me. Because after all, humanity tends to uh, slaughter its teachers. So you became Christ, and you were scared that that was the reason people might slaughter you. Right. Well, that hasn't happened, does it? You know, and um, you tend to have a, there tends to have to be a bit more you know, of a problem. Really, I mean, there tends to have to be there tends to be a bit more of a reason people slaughter people. Jesus didn't get slaughtered because he claimed he was because he claimed he was Christ. Let's get that straight. You know, that wasn't going to be enough. Plus, what good is it becoming Christ if the second you find out? You're immediately more you know, you're immediately more vulnerable. And what's the point of having the power of the universe goes through you? But you immediately say to you know, it's a bit of a burden, isn't it? And I'm not I don't think that everybody is going to learn from me. I mean, I'm not naive enough to think that, oh, if they just show what I have to say, they'll change their thinking. No. 
Well, it's nice to know you're playing it down, you know, that's at least true. Yeah. If, you know, I, I'm sure that, that's what, that is what Jesus, you know, would have said. He's like, you know, he's like, I'm going to tell people, fuck knows if they'll listen, but, you know. None so blind as them that what won't listen, as my nan used to say. To, to those who have understanding, they will understand. But if they've already got understanding and they already understand, what's the point of that then? What is the point in talking to people who already understand something? That's called an echo chamber. And that would have been pretty useless to Jesus, considering Christianity didn't exist. I'm not going to bash my head against the wall trying to teach people who don't want to be taught. Yeah, you know, that's that's a good attitude. That's the attitude Jesus would have been taught. You know, if someone would, if someone would, you know, if he if he encountered someone who was, you know, struggling to, struggling to get his head round, he'd have been like, "Oh, fuck you! I'm not gonna fucking fuck you! I'm not gonna bash his head against the wall." The motherfucker got nailed to a cross. He sacrificed his life for for, for humanity. You're not gonna bash your head against the wall. Because you come up against someone who's a bit, you know, who's not getting it. Um, just as you would not try to uh, teach calculus to a uh, mentally retarded person. Why? So to Bravo de Christos. He's not going to try to teach the laws of the universe to those who don't want to learn. So what you're saying is, Mr. Christ, excellent Christ, is anyone who is, as you put it, mentally retarded, is fucked. It's futile. And, uh, you know, all I can do is plant a seed in someone's mind, in their heart, their soul. Yeah, but if you plant a literal seed and something doesn't grow, you don't go, well, fuck it. Yeah. If at first you don't succeed, nah, fuck it. Who gives a shit? Yeah, and I know some of you probably think, uh, you know, oh, Nick, you've gone over the deep end. No. Um... No, I wouldn't say deep end. Um, you know, bored, trolling, um, grifting. I don't know. Given where we are in the state of the world since this video was made, I don't think. I think the deep end has been redefined, don't you? I've never seen things more clearly, actually. Yeah, that's uh, that, that, that's that, that's exactly what people who have gone mental tend to think, isn't it? You know, you never meet a cult member who's like, oh, I've been brainwashed to fuck. I am so far. I, I have crossed the Rubicon, bruv, mentally. I am bonkers. And it's fantastic. Um, I've read books. Whoa, 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 he's read books. Well, why didn't you say so? He's read books. Well, that'll do for me. Jesus didn't read, but did Jesus read books? Is that how Jesus came to the conclusion he was? Did he read? Are you Christ, an idiot's guide? I've meditated, I've prayed. Those are just two synonyms for done nothing. I've reasoned. With what? Yourself? It's pretty easy, that, isn't it? It's pretty easy to reason with yourself, isn't it? Are you Christ, Richard? Well, yes, I think I am. Oh, that makes sense to me. Good. See, the universe's gift to each and every individual is a thinking mind. Yeah, but there's literally no... There's, there's not a non-thinking mind, is there? I mean, all minds think, don't they? Technically speaking, I mean, if, you, if a non-thinking mind is a dead mind, is a mind that doesn't work anymore, is dead, is, you know, is attached to a brain that doesn't work. That's not the universe's gift. That's just the definition of a mind. And I've used my thinking mind. 
I love the way he says, I've used my thinking mind, as opposed to what? As opposed to what? Your, your other kind of mind, your non-thinking mind, your cooking mind, right? You know, your, your driving mind, you, you know, you, that's all minds do, mate. To come to grips, to come to terms with the fact that I am indeed Christ. I'm glad you've come to that term, you know. I'm glad you've managed to reconcile that with yourself. Now, the word Christ, it simply means anointed one. There can be, you know, thousands, millions of anointed ones. So, so what's the fucking point then? If you can just declare... If you can just say, yeah, fuck it, I'm one too. What's so special about Jesus? And it's perfectly acceptable for me to call myself Brava de Christos. Listen, mate, respect for pronouns and all that. No one's saying you can't call yourself that. You can call yourself whatever you call yourself, Spunky the paedophile, for all I care. It doesn't matter. Call yourself Captain Wow. It's, you know... It's not the name that's the problem. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this channel. I hope you subscribe. I hope you take some uh, worth out of it. And there were, I don't know, and uh, there weren't many here next time. I don't know whatever happened to the uh, the Christ Bravo channel afterwards. Um, I don't know how long it lasted. I do know, however, that he did make a follow-up video, which I said I have done a response to, but you won't be able to see that unless you're following me on Patreon, which you can do for as little as $1. And if you do that, you get you get plenty of bonus content. There's lots of perks and bits and pieces down there you can get, you, you can get access to, and yada, yada, yada. And uh, going to be lots of other stuff coming up. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Dick Coffin. I hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane. And if you weren't here, you know, for when it originally happened, you know, you've now got a new memory. So in 10 years time, I can do this video response yet again. Thank you for watching, folks. My name's Dick Coughlin, brother Neuro. Good night, may God be less. And remember, where there's no sense, there's no feeling.